Hello and welcome to my bootstrap tutorial and in this video I want to talk about the bootstrap grid system. Uh, if you don't know what bootstrap is, it's a front-end framework for web development and it's designed to be mobile first. So I'll show you what the grid system looks like kind of in action. You can see here I have it set up for uh, large devices. Uh, I mentioned before that it was designed to be mobile first so I'll resize this window all the way down and you'll see that uh, in this version of Bootstrap, which is the latest, uh, one of the new features is you can have columns on your mobile layout. Uh, if you're familiar with Bootstrap version 2, you'll remember that most of the columns, or actually all of the columns, were stacked uh, vertically like this one down here. Uh, anyway, like I said, what's new in version 3 is that you can actually split those in two now. Uh, other frameworks were already doing this before. For example, if you were familiar with uh, Foundation, you've already known a little bit about that. And so uh, it's a cool new feature with Bootstrap. Anyway, to get started, you're going to want to head over to getbootstrap.com and um, let's go ahead and click on this. Why don't we click on Well, you can download it. We'll go ahead and just download it. You can download it from the home page or the customized page and I think the only difference is if you download it from the home page you'll get the uh, full uh, development package straight from the repo. If you get it from customized uh, I think you'll only get the JavaScript, CSS and fonts uh, folders. Um, I already have mine downloaded so I'm not going to do it. Uh, go ahead and download yours and set it up. The way I have mine is in a uh, local server or local host and I got this directory called bootstrap-3. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to switch over to my text editor and uh, make sure that you have your document set up and you're linking to your bootstrap.min.css style sheet. Also this meta tag here with the viewport and the content set up this way. Uh, is what you'll also need for the responsive stuff. Uh, just a quick note about Bootstrap 3. It's only supported in IE8 if you use respond.js. Uh, now for this particular video I'm just going to focus on the grid and I'm not going to be doing too much with uh, any of the, the more advanced features in Bootstrap so it's best to use one of the more modern browsers at least for this video and uh, I'll talk about using respond.js and maybe in a few more videos. Uh, but for now, uh, we're talking about the grid system. And within the grid system, there are three classes that you need to be aware of. Uh, the first one being the container class. And the, the container class is the wrapper for all your rows. And uh, this is important because it keeps your content kind of glued together or the structure of all your rows and columns kind of glued together uh, centered in the screen. Uh, you don't have to use container class uh, and I'll show you why in a minute uh, but just know that this one's optional for the uh, grid classes. Um, the next one is the dot row class and what this class does is it, uh, it sort of acts as a um, I guess you could call a layer for all your columns. And so what, what the row class does is it, um, it breaks down your page into sort of blocks or rows. That's why they're called rows. And they contain your columns or your, uh, your column classes. And why don't I just change that to contains all your columns classes and you don't have to type this stuff out this is just for uh, instructional reasons don't worry about it just main focus is getting rid of your uh, sorry getting rid of uh, understanding your column classes now this part is where it gets a little tricky because there are kind of uh, pre the prefixes here for this for these column classes as you can see are not a, are not the same um, for all devices so when I get down to medium you'll see that they change and when I get down to smaller ones uh, 
you'll see that they continue to change. And then why don't I go ahead and just leave it like that. It's mobile first, so keeping with the spirit of that, we'll keep that window small. Now, I'm just going to put, I'll do that. And what these are are the sizes of the columns in your row. And then I'm just going to comment this out. So let's get started with using the grid. The first thing you're going to want is a div with the class of container. And it's going to be, remember, the container for all your rows. And within that, we'll just make one row. And within that row, how about a div? Um, we'll go call dash excess dash 12. And what this is is 12 columns on an extra small screen or extra small device. When I open that, um, why don't I put how about the name of the uh, the class? So call dash extra small dash 12. And I'll save it. And when I come over here and refresh, it's going to take all that stuff away. As you can see, our text here from what we put in, I'll add a style layer to it. So it'll make a little bit more sense. How about um, call dash access that's 12. And I'll give it a height of uh, 100 pixels. And how about a background color of, I don't know, blue. And a text color of white. And then uh, go ahead and align the text to the center. Save that. Come over here and refresh. And now it makes a little more sense. Um, so remember, your container class is going to contain your row. And your row will contain your columns. And since we went with a 12 column setup on extra small devices, uh, it's going to go all the way across the screen. Uh, now, it's important to take note of the number 12 here because that is the highest amount of columns that you can have on any layout, uh, whether it be extra small, small, medium, or large. So uh, if we were to put call dash xs dash, I don't know, 15, it's, it's not going to work. That's not how it's set up. Bootstrap 3 is set up to have 12 columns um, across the board, pretty much. Um, it's pretty much a brief intro to the grid system. In my next video, I'll get a little bit more complex with it and we'll learn about nesting columns and creating split, uh, split grids um, on small devices and learning how to push and pull them on uh, larger devices. So uh, thanks for watching this video. Like and subscribe and thank you.